Hello doll lovers, it's Ruby Red's World of Dolls and welcome back. Thank you so much for dropping by. I have here a little video that I want to share with you guys. These are, some people call them the budget Barbie, basic Barbie, whatever you call them. I think they are adorable. They usually are in the price range of 4 to $6 depending on where you purchase them from. I like them because they always wear cute little dresses and then their shoes are really cute and then they always have really um, adorable little faces. Um, I picked these three up here from my local Ollie's for $5.99. Um, my local Walmart never got this wave in stock. As a matter of fact, they very rarely get these budget basic Barbies in stock. The ones you see here in the backdrop, I did pick them up from my local Walmart. Some of them I got from Walmart.com. And this one here, I picked her up from City Trends. I think she's beautiful. I ended up getting two of her, and I ended up putting the other one on a made-to-move Barbie. And she is just gorgeous. Sometimes their faces are so gorgeous. I want to use them a lot in my photos. And, of course, we know... You know, the made-to-move Barbies give you more movement and lots more fun when it comes to the photos. But I really like these dolls, and um, I seem to be um, uh, one of a few people that like them. I've seen some really fabulous photos on Instagram and Facebook of um, collectors who collect these dolls as well. Um, a lot of people take these dolls and they put them on made-to-move Barbies, like I said. Um, they have beautiful faces, and again, the price point is really affordable. Um, I just like them a lot. I don't know why some areas um, get them easier and have them more than others, but again, my local Walmart had, had these girls. They did have the blonde hair, blue eyed traditional Barbie, but they had a lot of her. And because I already have three of that same doll and they look the same, you know, sometimes her hair might be lighter or darker, but it's always the same face mold. So I didn't pick her up this time, but maybe when I go back in, if she's still available, I will probably get her because I do like collecting these little budget basic Barbies. These dresses here I think are my favorite so far and these girls are wearing um, the high heel sandals and I just like the face molds on them. Um, I don't know what this face mold here is called but I think she's absolutely gorgeous. I'm told this is the Christy face mold and she is adorable and this one here I think is going to be the Teresa face sculpt and um, she's been around for a long time so think I'm right about that one. If I'm not, please um, let me know in the comments below. But they're really cute, and I couldn't find any reviews on these dolls. Um, so I thought that I would just give you guys a quick review. I have opened the sides of the boxes up, but then, you know, I said, I think I'll just go ahead and show you guys what they look like. Just in case you don't have them in your store and you can't see them in person and you see them online, you'll know what you're looking at. So here we have this first one here. I'm going to go ahead and show you what the boxes look like. The boxes are just a basic old box. You know, they have the, the cute artwork of the Barbie um, dolls on the front. And then on the back, you are given... Um, a picture of all of the dolls that are in that wave and as you can see we have I have all three of these and that is the blonde um the traditional Barbie and my local Ollie's like I said had a overstock of her so kind of felt like I could get her but these three that I picked up they were very limited um I don't even remember if there was another Teresa I think I got the very last one of her but they had a few Christy face molds and a few of the dark skin beauty here. So I went ahead and I got them because, like I said, they were limited. But the box is nothing fancy. So I'm going to go ahead and slide these girls on a, out of the box and move the boxes out of the way so that we can look at the dolls more up close. And they are quite lovely. Um, the hair quality is beautiful. I mean, their hair is really thick and really full. And, of course, yes, technical difficulties. That's what happens when you film live. <laughs> and I don't believe in editing. I just like 
feeling like I'm talking to you guys directly and that you're right here with me. So here we are. And let's start here with this beautiful, um, adorable one here. Again, I think that this is the Teresa face mold and she's very beautiful. She has the beautiful, um, Sandy, um, brunette hair color and it's really gorgeous again the hair quality on these dolls is awesome I have done nothing with them you know I just pop them out of the box and that's how the hair looks and I played with it a little bit with my um with my fingers and she has um looks like hazel hazel color eyes or are they green they might be green i'm not sure but i just know they're beautiful and then she has the tan um skin tone and she's just a beautiful doll and then this is her dress all of the dresses have the same style there's no velcro in the back it's just a slide up slide down um way of pulling it on and pulling it off and then she's wearing these gorgeous high heel stilettos and i really like the shoes on these dolls i really do i think they're fabulous and then up next we have this very unique beauty here and i'm told she is the christy face sculpt and again she has a beautiful head of hair and it's really thick there's no product on the hair i mean these are just some fabulous little dolls to be budget basic dolls and I just like her a lot. I mean, her face is very unique. I really like her. She has beautiful light brown eyes. And it looks like she has a little um, rosiness to her cheeks. Not a lot. Not a lot at all. And then this is her dress again. Same style, just different print and color. And then she's wearing the purple stilettos, just like the other. The shoes and the dresses are all the same style just different colors and then last but not least we have this beauty here in the dark skin tone and i love her face sculpt as well she has light brown eyes and i just like it um usually the lip color doesn't bother me but i must say on this beautiful one here i think the lip color is um too light i wish they had have given her a different lip color um, if I was into, um, being a doll artist, if I thought that I could remove it and fix it where it wouldn't look bad, I probably would change it. But, you know, I'm not skilled in that area, so I'm just going to have to leave her be. I mean, she's still beautiful, but I just, her lip color is just not one of my favorite things. Now, her hair is gorgeous. Again, it's curly. And it's really, really thick and full. Again, the quality of hair on these dolls is fabulous. And this is what her dress, look, color of her dress looks like. And then she's wearing this color of the stilettos of the heels. And they're just fabulous dolls. And I just wanted to share them with you guys. Because again, you know, I could not find any reviews on these budget basic Barbies. So I wanted to share them. Because until they became available in my local Ollie's, I could only... Um, locate them on amazon.com and sometimes they're pretty pricey on amazon.com you can pay up to 15 dollars for these budget basic um barbies you know i guess because they're hard to find and you know they're limited and everybody doesn't have them and we know whenever something becomes popular or people decide that they want it you know the market and the price point can sometimes go up because of the demand of the item so hope you guys enjoyed this quick little um review of these gorgeous budget basic barbies whatever you would like to call them just wanted to share that with you guys the schedule has been went back to normal which means it's busy and hectic so you know i like to try to get at least one video a week out there for you guys and today is saturday and guys i did got up this morning i i cut grass i raked leaves did a lot of yard work and i was just enjoying being outside because the temperature is just perfect this is what fall is supposed to feel like fall is my favorite season I, and i don't know if i told you guys this before i love fall i love the way fall looks and i love the way fall feels so i got a lot of things accomplished outside today and um 
really happy and pleased about that. Really happy and pleased that it is starting to look like fall and feel like fall. So I hope that this um, trend continues to continues as well with the weather forecast and the temperature because it's been very hot um what day was it thursday i think thursday we broke a record the temperature the temperatures made it to 100 degrees so we broke a record here in fall for the whole year i think it was we broke a record for some this year Whoa, it was hot and i'm just so happy to have it cool all right i'm gonna stop rambling on again i want to thank you guys for dropping by don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram. I'm Ruby Red's World of Dolls, Dolls there as well. Guys, continue being awesome, fantastic, and fabulous. And I will see you fabulous people in my next review.